Hello, my name is Natasha Ružić and I will share some ideas with you about Media Illiterate Society in Montenegro. As we already all know, the basic precondition for building a democratic society is media literate citizens who are aware of their rights. Without this key element, the talks of politicians about democracy is just a classic populism aimed at scoring political points. It's easier to manipulate a media illiterate society because they do not ask questions. They do not ask themselves uh, why someone sends them a message at a certain moment and what values are promoted by the mentioned message. Of course, media literacy is not just the ability of critical analysis of messages or fact-checking skills, but what is crucial is that the media literate person will demand that his her right to free access of information be respected and such person can't be a victim a victim of some kind of stereotypes because she is willing he or she is willing to live in multi-confessional and multinational uh, society the direct link between media literacy and democratic process uh, is reflected among other in the activism of citizens who would take a role of fifth power. But the main question is, do countries with hybrid regimes new, need media literate uh, society or media literate citizens? Uh, the answer will be obvious if we analyze government policy about media and information literacy, which is really different from state to state. Talks of the necessity of media literacy of the society in Montenegro began in 2007 when general high school students were offered media literacy as an elective subject. Has anything been changed in the past 13 years? Not so much. Of course, there is no doubt that the term is used much more often in public, that the international organization and non-governmental sector are more active on these issues than the state institutions. For example, the international organization UNICEF with the Agency for Electronic Media played a key role in making citizens aware of the messages sent to them by the media through the campaign, let's choose what we watch. The non-governmental sector also deals with media literacy of journalists, primary and secondary school uh, teachers, but for now, according to Media Literacy Index, we cannot speak about some results in Montenegro. In 2019, the Open Society Foundation ranked Montenegro on 31st place uh, out of 35 countries in total. Such poor results can be explained uh, by the methodology itself, which is based on the results of PISA test and also on the Press Freedom Index according to the Reporters Without uh, Borders. Um, can we expect um, that Montenegro as a country that ranks on 105th place of 180 countries, according to the Reporters Without Borders, can we expect that Montenegro will be highly positioned? Can we expect better results on the PISA test in a country that has so many problems in the education system? Of course not. The mentioned index uh, reflects the situation in the society and problems it is facing. Continuous reforms in the education system that were aimed at more accessible and free education have not improved the situation in this area. If we analyze project uh, The Learn at Home, um, which is actually, it was the lectures of primary uh, school teachers uh, hold on uh, public service media, we can see the whole all problems in the education uh, system. 
and uh, that this program shows to us uh, and confirm to us that the best ones do not choose to be teachers because the average salary is the lowest in Europe. Noam Chomsky pointed out that the easiest way to manage society is to promote ignorance. So he wrote that uh, the quality of education of the lower social classes should be as low or as below average as possible so that the gap between uh, the education of the upper and lower classes be large. And this situation we have in Montenegro. On the one hand, education has become more accessible, not only in financial terms, but also in the way of studying, because today it is much easier to study than in the past. If we watch all this problem, we can say that in such condition, the critical public is represented by the non-governmental sector, which is not always motivated by the public interest, but by the projects through which they carry out certain activities. Citizens are passive because they are faced with existential problems. In a country with uh, over 620,000 inhabitants, which has over 44,000 unemployment, unemployment people, can we really expect citizens to think about media literacy or activism? I think that uh, the question on this answer we can find on Maslow's theory of motivations, according to which a person must first satisfy his her physiological need, as we can see, uh, then the need for security uh, or safety needs, then, mean, then means also uh, in terms of employment. And at the very top of pyramid, we see self-actualization. That means that one person will not think of higher goals without satisfying basic needs. So all in all, um, we can see the several problem, key problems, uh, which are actually low level of uh, quality of education and that all actually affect on the level of information of citizen. So we can say that Montenegro is in some kind of circle from which is very difficult to get out and only political will can change uh, this situation. Thank you for your attention.